On this Thanksgiving, this is your morning in eight minutes. This morning, the National Park Service needs your help finding the people responsible for the Rich Mountain Fire that started on Monday morning. If you recall, multiple, multiple people had to be evacuated from their homes because of this fire, and it was intentionally set. Officials say two fires were intentionally set by an unknown arsonist that grew into a six acre fire. They also say a white truck was seen leaving the area that morning. If you have any information about this, call the National Park Service or the police department. We have those numbers for you inside your WVLT news app. And if you're heading east for Thanksgiving this morning, you may run across this scene. My goodness, this was from uh, over the weekend. You might run across this wildfire currently burning just across the Tennessee, North Carolina border. Right now, the Black Bear fire burning along parts of I-40 just over the border. The fire is over 1800 acres, nearly 80% contained. They've got over 120 firefighters on the scene. Officials say you should expect some slowdowns on the interstate if you're going that way. And in Sevier County, officials say despite the recent rain, they are keeping the burn ban in place until further notice, until at least more rain shows up. Over the past couple of days, some parts of the county received a little less than half an inch. Officials say they'll reevaluate that burn ban on Monday. And new this morning, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office is looking for a suspect in an armed robbery that happened in Strawberry Plains. According to the deputies, the suspect ran from the roadside market in Delhi. They were wearing all black. They had glasses on and armed with a semi-automatic handgun. Investigators still looking into surveillance footage of last night's robbery. If you have any information, please call police. And in Anderson County, 18 people are behind bars this morning after what the Sheriff's Office calls Operation Shock Gobble. They all face several charges, including probation violations, aggravated assault and reckless endangerment. The operation, a joint effort by several local law enforcement agencies. And you may see more troopers on the road this holiday week. They just launched the Tennessee Interstate Challenge. THP says Thanksgiving is the busiest travel time of the year, so they're placing troopers every 10 to 20 miles on the interstate. They're also asking all law enforcement agencies to crack down on traffic violations. And AAA is offering its statewide tow to go service this Thanksgiving weekend starting now. If you are under the influence at any time and you can't drive, don't drive. Get a free ride home and the car towed to within a 10 mile radius thanks to AAA. You don't even have to be a AAA member. Just call 855-2-TOW-TO-GO. The number two, not the word two. The ride service will last through Monday. And the deal between Israel and Hamas for the long awaited release of hostages delayed until tomorrow at the earliest. That's when Hamas is expected to now release at least start releasing 50 women and children in exchange for 150 Palestinian women and teenagers being held in Israel. Under the agreement, Hamas is incentivized to release more of its captives. Every 10 extra hostage, hostages freed will extend the ceasefire by one day. And a U.S. warship shot down attack drones over the Red Sea. It happened early this morning, and according to the U.S. Central Command, the USS Thomas Hudner fired on multiple one-way attack drones launched in Yemen. Officials say there's no damage to the ship or any injuries from the crew. This comes as tensions are on the rise in the Red Sea region since the start of the Israel Hamas war. And just a couple hours left before the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade steps off. Some of the biggest stars are ready to hit the parade route. 16 giant character balloons will float above the crowds at New York's annual parade. An army of volunteers helped bring the balloons to life for the one day that inflation is a good thing. <laughs> oh, get it? All right, New Yorkers call it one of the great traditions of New York City. And it's that time of year where we're all getting ready to have a big Thanksgiving meal with the family today. Not everyone can afford it. Not everyone has that place to go. Hoping to get everyone a warm, good Thanksgiving meal. Knox Area Rescue Ministries hosting its 37th annual CARM Thanksgiving Day celebration today. Staff say they expect to serve around 400 full Thanksgiving meals. They've got 40 turkeys to serve to everyone this year. Kitchen staff spent the last couple of days cooking the turkey, making the mac and cheese, getting the rolls ready to go. The goal is to give everyone a memorable Thanksgiving. It all starts with a meal here. It's uh, this opportunity for us to feed the guests on Thanksgiving Day can be the first step for people coming back out of homelessness into a restored life. Rothschild Catering supplying the mashed potatoes, green beans and ham to complete the full feast. We've got a list of those time slots that they're serving food today inside your WVLT News app. And if you're not feeling the hustle and bustle of that kitchen today, several East Tennessee restaurants are staying open for the holidays. The Oliver Royale downtown is offering a three course Thanksgiving meal all day long. All Copper Cellar family restaurants like Calhoun's, Smoky Mountain Brewery, they're going to be open as well. They have an all day Thanksgiving buffet in Chesapeake serving its regular menu as well as a Thanksgiving feast. We got a full list of all the places open today inside the WVLT News app. Find it under the As Seen On section. 
And a heads up this morning, parents, we got a recall alert. Take a look at your screen. We've got the Miracle Baby Lounger sold on Amazon. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says the lounger does not meet safety regulation because it does not have a stand causing an unsafe sleeping environment for babies. They were sold June to November of last year. If you have it, you're asked to stop using it. And how about a little Lady Vol basketball action with your turkey dinner? Lady Vol's opening up tournament play in Fort Myers, Florida today at 6 o'clock. They're taking on the Indiana Hoosiers. The Lady Vol's looking for a bit of revenge tonight after last year's game against Indiana, where the Hoosiers bested them here in Knoxville. In the NFL, offering a very busy lineup over the long holiday weekend. We got three games today, a game on Black Friday for the first time ever, and a full slate of matchups on Sunday. One of those matchups today, the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Washington Commanders. We're going to have Dolly there too. I'll see you all this Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, yeah, our East Tennessee Queen going to be blessing us on this Thanksgiving at the Red Kettle kickoff, the halftime show of the Cowboys game. It's all to kick off the Salvation Army's Red Kettle fundraising campaign. You can catch her today right here on WVLT at 4 30. And we do want to get a look at your first alert traffic on this Thanksgiving. Honestly, everything's looking really good to start off your day. This is a look downtown. This is where the turkey trot's going to get underway shortly. They're going to be going down Gay Street, across the Henley Street Bridge, back across the Gay Street Bridge, all the way back to the Mill and Mine in the Old City. So you can see all those slowdowns happening in and around downtown. Folks trying to get there. Supposed to be a record number of East Tennesseans running in the turkey trot. Headed out this morning, you're definitely going to want to bundle up. It is definitely going to be on the chilly side out there. 32 Crossville, 34 in Lansing, a little bit cooler. 43 now in Knoxville to 37 in Townsend, 45 in Dandridge. Your Thanksgiving Day forecast, it's looking pretty good. We got lots of sunshine as we head throughout the day. 49 degrees at noon to 57 by 3 o'clock, closer to 51 by 6 o'clock. Seeing a little bit more of that mixture of some clouds starting to move in. We got that sunset at 525, so you definitely want that jacket as you are stepping out the door. Maybe be putting up the lights today or maybe trying to do it tomorrow, especially those outdoor lights. Forecast looking good over the next couple of days, 48 by noon to 59 by 3 o'clock with those on and off clouds as we head throughout the day tomorrow. Heading into the weekend, we're dry Saturday, but tracking a little bit of rain Sunday overnight early into Monday. Looking at about a 20% coverage, so not a lot of rain. I know a lot of us really want more of that, but not going to see a lot, but that system does kind of cool us down. We're saying though right near average as we head towards the next couple of days, those upper 50s, overnight lows into the upper 30s. And then it's next week. We see those highs near 49 degrees both Monday and Tuesday. Definitely be a little bit on that cooler side. We got overnight lows getting back towards freezing. More sunshine, so overall kind of on any drier trend. We're actually going to have an update on that drought monitor later today. Uh, we'll post that in that WBLT First Alert weather app. Yeah, we desperately still need that rain. Yeah. That's for sure, Paige. Well, we certainly thank you for joining us on this Thanksgiving. We'll see you at 7 o'clock on WBXX.